<clears throat> well, well, well. Um, when, let me actually check. When was the last time I, I think, when was the last time I posted something related to Silent Hill? Um, would have been a while, like a long time ago now. Let's see. So that's GTA San Andreas. Silent Hill 2. So, one year ago. With six views. It's pretty good. Pretty, pretty good. Yeah, so, September 30th, 2021. But I think it was even earlier than that, but... Yeah. Anyways, okay. So, yep. Yeah. Um, I haven't finished this game. I got to, like, the last part that needs to be done. And then that's the end of it, basically. So, I'm thinking that'll work for me. Get some atmospheric stuff going on with the new Silent Hill 2 remake trailer launching. Um, it's going to be pretty epic. Oh, what's this? Weather scan music. Does this have any ads on it? It does. Okay. I'll have to listen to this. At some point, but not now. Yeah. So we're gonna be doing that. We're gonna play some of that. Also, here's my desk top thing. Where is the I don't need this open. That was from yesterday. Um so we're gonna play some some of that on the old emulation because fucking streaming on my PlayStation 2 is already really dumb. Uh, this is just easier and more convenient, and also it, I can make it look prettier, or make it look almost exactly like the game did, I guess. I mean, I could do anything with this. Um, that's what's great about it. So we're going to hit load. Let's see here. And then we're shipping dock. That's where we last left off, basically. And we go to this lighthouse and do all that stuff. So here's the game. It's been a lo long time for me, but yeah, looking pretty good. We've got that sound filter going on. There's my health. You can look at our items. We have a bunch of different stuff here. A bunch of ammo. Uh, equip that. All that good stuff. I don't remember, like, if I really needed the ammo or not. The camera's always been a little bit weird, but, you know, it works. I wanted it to face him, but it's fine. But yeah, this is, um... I I remember enjoying this game. I just never went out of my way to finish it for whatever reason. I just never felt like it. So I'm actually going to do it this time. I'll we'll actually finish it off. I like his jacket. It's pretty nice. It reminds me of, um... Uh, Travis Bickle's jacket from, uh... Taxi Driver. Good stuff, good stuff, bro. I got me some, uh, some, uh, ginger ale. Wow. <sighs> yummy, yummy ginger ale. So, what you gotta do in this is you gotta rotate yourself until you see a lighthouse right there. And we're gonna pass it up here. Um, we have to fix our rotation. Perfect. That'll do for now. Let's see. That'll be good. And now we just go straight, pretty much. Um... Yeah, so I think in like a year, a lot's happened, honestly, since it's been a whole year. Um, but 
to be honest, uh, even though a lot's happened in, in over a year, uh, it doesn't feel like it. You know, it just feels like uh, nothing's changed, really. I guess things have gotten worse for others. And uh, speaking of like the trailer, I know some people in like the little chat on IGN's like fucking live stream were saying that he looks off in the trailer, and I'm thinking, well, I mean, you clearly haven't fucking played the game in five billion years, because if you actually look at him. When there's not a five million pits, pixels on your screen, and you know you actually can, you're not playing on like a CRT. You can actually clearly see that the character looks very closely like the main, like this guy. The difference is that in that game, the eyes were kind of static for most part, and the hair was pretty static as well. Um, there's not a lot of movement on the character's facial features, but. That was just because of the limitations of, of the software. So, and just the hardware as well. Um, not just the software, the, the hardware. Um, so now that we have HD shit going on, there's a lot more you can do with the character's movements, the character's facial expressions, all of that in a modern age that they didn't have access to before. And... So, it, I understand why some people think it looked off, but that's because they literally grew up with, like, an old-style looking game like this. And I think the facial expressions are always, like, they're uncanny on this game, which was intentional. Like, the voice acting and the uncanny animation, na like, the nature of it all, it's all on purpose. It's supposed to be that way because it adds... This place hasn't changed at all in three years. <laughs> um, ironic, isn't it? Um, anyways. Yeah, so this game hasn't changed in... Or, sorry. I, I'm getting confused now with my wording. Um, yeah, so, like, everything was intentional with how this game was made at the time. I love, I, to be fair, I genuinely enjoy the tank controls in this game a lot. I think it's actually the best tank controls I've ever played in a game. Um, and I, I do like it. I think, like, the, the camera is nice. There you go. That's a mermaid music box. I don't know what it does. But if there's one thing I know, is that you should always... You should always take your time these games because you don't want to wander you know you don't you don't want to rush it rushing it is only going to lose its atmosphere which as you can see here is very pretty i love the atmosphere of this game even the floating gun on the shadow uh see there um actually never mind that's that's fine uh, ignore me it does look a little bit off though doesn't it they kind of re they really did just use a th the same model of the character, but then reversed it and then put it under it, didn't they? That's weird. So there's a swan. I know this game likes to throw puzzles. There's a fountain here at the shape of a bird. No water is coming out of it right now. So they mentioned right now. Come over here. Also, you have to be careful with running because your character will get tired. It's a fountain of a shape of a bird. Water coming out. That does not look like a bird, dude. I don't even know what that's supposed to be. It's like a snake. I literally can't tell what it is. Yeah, I can't. I cannot tell what that is at all. That is not a bird. <laughs> Are you okay? No, I. <laughs> it's just like that specific dialogue is just it's it's really bad but i like it because it's it's kind of funny and it's weird but it's on purpose that's why like it's again it's like it's weird on purpose and i like it for that there's something going on over here look at this we can get all these different angles and stuff it's like if you were to approach this you can see the camera starts starts to like and close to it. Like that. 
I have a gun. And this game does handle somewhat an auto-aim system. Also, I think, okay, so either this game or uh, I think Resident Evil 4 has a, and 5 has amazing tank controls too. Um, so Silent Hill 2 and Silent, or sorry, yeah, Silent Hill 2, Resident Evil 4, and Resident Evil. Um, Resident Evil uh, 5 do the best tank controls. Alright, so this is a, I guess, hospital of some kind, I think. Ah, uh, yeah. It's been a while since I played this. Let's see here. This is the map. Uh, waiting for you at 312. That's where our honey boo is. That's a third floor. Lakeview Hotel, third floor. I don't know where we are. Waiting for you. What's this? Room 312. That's the room Mary and I stayed in. Yep. Mary, are you there? Or maybe... I got a hotel map for guests. There we go. That's what's up. Alright. And as you can see here... <laughs> yes! See, it's been a while since I've played a horror game, but... Actually, you know, I actually haven't played a horror game. Or no, not, not horror game, but like... It, I, I like to set this shit weird. So what I meant to try to say was, um... When I was younger, I used to not... Oh my god! Hey, cut that out! Did I scare you? Yeah, <laughs> you did. Forgot about her. You know, I, I actually hate her. I forgot, I actually hate this You're character. You're here to find Mary, aren't you, James? Wow, well, the music! Have you? <laughs> the music! No. Is that why you're here too? She's here, isn't she? If you know where she is, tell me. I'm tired of walking. <laughs> I, I love the knew. fucking acting. It's what so bad. In her letter. What letter? Wanna read it? Thanks. But don't tell Rachel, okay? Yeah, Who's I don't. Rachel. She was our nurse. I took it from her locker. Oh. I'm gonna turn the audio up too. I feel like it, it deserves to be louder. There we go. This the audio is very important in this game. Okay. In the house. All right. <clears throat> My dearest Laura, I'm leaving this letter with Rachel to give to you after I'm gone. I'm far away now, in a quiet, beautiful place. Please forgive me for not saying goodbye before I left. Be well, Laura. Don't be too hard on the sisters. And Laura, about James? I know you hate him because you think he isn't nice to me. But please give him a chance. It's true. He may be a little sh sh uh He may be a little surly sometimes. Or surly, sorry. He may be a little surly sometimes. And he doesn't laugh much. But underneath, he's a really sweet person. Laura, I love you like my very own daughter. If things had worked out differently, I was hoping to adopt you. Happy 8th birthday, Laura. Your friend forever, Mary. Damn. Laura, how old are you? Like five or something. Um, I turned eight last week. Oh. So, Mary couldn't have died three years ago. Could, could she really be here? No. Is this the quiet, beautiful place she was talking about? Yeah. It's very quiet. Me and Mary talked a lot about Silent Hill. She even showed me all her pictures. Why is she stand she really weird? wanted to come back. That's why. It's like I'm a here. goblin. Maybe you'll get it if you see the other letter. The one Mary. Huh? I must have dropped it. Laura. I got to find it. Laura. Oh, that's Laura. Okay. 
Hey, and it immediately transitioned because that was an in-game cutscene, baby. And the music went back to being spooky. It's a little cat. Let's take a gander at it. A drawing done by Laura. A cat? Cat must be the answer. Cat with pants. It's Garfield. Yeah, so as I was saying, like, um, I, I was always scared of, um, also I love how they always look at, uh, items of interest. It's always pretty fucking good. Like, I, that's the kind of shit I like, see? Look, alright, look at it. Look at it. Okay, never mind, he's not gonna look at it. He's too busy looking at the key that's right over there, as you can see. And whenever you pan over to it, it's kind of like facing towards it. Kinda. But yeah, he, he, he's too busy looking at this, so this is the most important thing right now. Um, yeah, so, I didn't- I was like always like a scaredy cat. Um, with like spooky games um, if it wasn't for I guess just kind of watching like horror games on YouTube I probably I don't know I, I would have eventually probably maybe gotten into horror but yeah no literally like for a very long time I was scared of anything like scary you know like horror or anything like that so now, like, you know, I actually went out of my way to actually try to learn, like, you know, not not be scared of it. I got better. I can't really... what? What is that? Oh, hey! Ow. Get off of me. Hey, get... Yeah, dude. Okay, this is just kind of dumb. What the fuck? Oh god, dude. I ran out of ammo? Really? Okay. I'm actually hurt. Hold on. Wait, so this is restores energy by providing nourishment. Okay, I'm fine now. But, okay. So I need a weapon that's actually gonna fucking do damage here. Alright. I'm, I'm dying. I, I'm so not used to the controls. Dude, what the fuck? I guess I should use the shotgun. Wow, I suck at this. I need to like kill it, right? How do I? I know there's a way for you to be able to kill it. Jeez. Okay. <sighs> yeah, I know there's a way for you to fucking kill it. I just don't. I think you have to. Unless I don't need to. I'm sure I do, right? I did not mean to exit. I did not mean to exit. I guess go back to the pistol. I... That sucks. I... That was, like, really bad in terms of, like, item management. It's been, it's been a long day. Without you. Let's hope they didn't respawn. Okay, so that was the one room. There was no save feature in there, I don't think. Uh, no, 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 no. I need to open up the map, which is triangle. Okay. So we want to. How do I. Is there a way to zoom out? I guess not. So I guess we can go downstairs into the lobby. Um, there's the cake thing, there's the bathrooms. So basically, we I guess we just. Whatever. Looks like it, the lock is broken and can't be opened. How would you know that? I guess just looking at it? You can enter in here. Can't 
fucking see. Which I think is on purpose. Here we go. Okay. Alright. indentation. There's a plate in the front of the indentation and something is engraved on it. When the lost one is returned, the soul, uh, the sour note shells turn sweet. This doesn't sound quite right. Is the music box broken? Nah, 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 nah. Place it on there. No, that doesn't sound quite right. Yo, go off of me. Okay. This painting of interest. The painting is hanging there. There's nothing unusual about it. What do you mean? It's pretty unusual. So there's the gift shop. So we're actually in the lobby now, right? Yeah, so that door takes us to... Oh, oh, oh. So yeah, we need to get to the third floor. Possible. There's something over here we can look at. A note. Mr. James Sunderland. The videotape you forgot here is being kept in the office on the first floor. I hope there's no final boss situation because I don't think I could be able to hang There's a bell here. Even if I bring it, I don't think anyone will. Come on, bring it. Come on, bring it. I can enter into here. Is this like a safe zone? Fine, I'll grab the fucking key there. Room 312, the key to the room where Mary and I stayed in. Okay, well, that was quick. Particularly useful. Okay. It can't be opened. Okay. I go now. Goodbye. Wait. Can I open that? No. It's not gonna be that particular. Thank you. Okay. Yeah, I guess if you wanna ever get into scary stuff, I guess just try to try to like it something so yeah every time when you try to open a door it'll block it off okay that's good and then we can go in there and keep exploring uh that room's never gonna open and then there's the e room it's called e stop focusing on it there you go nothing particularly interesting here I think the enemies stay dead, pretty much. That's the one thing I don't like. Oh, it's an elevator, okay. The E room. First floor. Just nothing happens. Okay, so that's something that I guess was updated. Yeah. Alright, let's try the bathrooms next, and then that first door into the new areas. Or we can go try to go straight to the area. I don't think this is a save room. We can check and see again. Let's see. Yeah, there's no fucking save here. Yeah, there's nothing. I don't even think I can reach that door because all the chairs are in the way. So there is a downstairs, which I haven't checked yet. a staircase upstairs from what it looks like. Dude, I fucking love the visions in this game. Oh my god. There's a door here apparently that isn't even marked. So I don't know what the deal is with this. Is this like one of those doors from Luigi's Mansion? <clears throat> no. Wait, 
Okay, these not die. Okay, they do die. They just have to basically be bleeding. That was a lot of ammo I think I used. Yeah, this is like a room that isn't even marked up here. Yeah, this is this is a fucking silent hill room. But it is important to note this. Inside. He checked. For sure for sure. Oh, ammo. Okay. Rifle ammo. Is there anything else in here? Laundry cart, nothing useful inside. Okay. So it's just a little room that had ammo in it. Okay, and two enemies. So I guess that kind of makes up for the amount of ammo I just wasted. Guess. <laughs> Let's start with the boys' bathroom. Never mind. Let's try the girls' bathroom. Never mind. Okay, so we have three options to choose from. We have that door, those, those over there, and then downstairs. Let's try this. Lock is broken and can't be opened. Okay, so literally no, can't make an easy passage over there. Let's try going. Uh, upstairs and see how that works out. Okay. So are we in the second floor now? We are on the second floor. The cloak room, the hall, and that's pretty much it. Huh. It's Silent Hill. Hence the name Silent Hill. I actually kind of like that it's silent right now. Adds tension. Yo, I can go in here. And now there's there's no silence. Okay. So this is actually a place we can go. Okay. Head back into the silent room. There is no audio. You can't ring the bell. Ooh. Is there bathrooms? And an upstairs. Well, before I continue, so. Bathroom. Unlocked. Locked. Open. Alright, we're just gonna deal with that later. <laughs> we're just gonna deal with that later. This is a little bit on this. What is this? Staff only. I'm a staff member. What do you see? What do you see over here, huh? Imagine this game in first person. I wonder if that's possible to play this in first person. Just ammo. Okay. And what is this, a gun? The bag is locked. We can try the fish key. Let's see. Fish. The fish. Radio. Let's you know when... Monsters are nearby. Use. Can't use that. Let's examine. Let's examine the key. Alright, let's use fish key. Hotel room 204. That's where we need to go, I guess. Our first clue.
Can't find anything from the receiver. Could the phone line be possible to try? Okay. Let's grab it real quick. There was a safe point, and that would be awesome, but there isn't. First aid kit. And no save. Okay. Well, we got a key to 204, which is all the way right here. There's 204. Two oh two. We can actually go to it immediately. So that's good. Some good shit. Loving it. Never hate it. It's been straight facts. Door is locked. And gun ammo, which doesn't look promising. Or that I can enter it. What the fuck is this room? This is the reading room. Okay, that's a little sus. Uh, I'm gonna pull the uh, shotgun out, I think, on this one. I don't trust this at all. The angle, everything. Oh, thanks for the shotgun ammo, conveniently. Like here in particular. This book might be of importance. Nope, it isn't. This character doesn't give a shit about this. Nothing important in this room other than the sign? No? What's in here? Ah more drink. Ammo. About this note. Notepad. Wait, what? This book? There's a book open on the top of the desk. It looks like a medical book. I've already read enough medical books. None of them are ever did any good. Damn. So that's a little that's a little something. So this is just like a weird like kinda like room. Again, just giving you supplies. But it's kind of neat to explore it, I guess. Ah, oh, dude, this is so fucking... Get ready, motherfucker. I'm gonna fucking get you. If you come near me, man, I will shoot. You hear? I will fire. I gotta go this way. So I think <clears throat> we can go... Left or right, and obviously our first indication is to go to 204, but we could probably go to the other rooms. Alright, let's deal with the monster. Hold on, let me reload. Dead? Yep. <laughs> You're not fucking dead, are you? Ah, it's dead. Okay. <clears throat> Alright. We're safe. Yeah. This bad boy's gonna get us through a lot. Fucking shotgun. Alright. I'm keeping my hunting rifle ammo just in case. Never know. Facing this way. Oh, woo -woo. I love, I love it. Okay. Yep. All right. Hello. You good, buddy? Why are you crying, huh? It's just shit like that. That's fucking awesome. There's like the weird like. Crying that doesn't ever do any- like, nothing ever comes of it. It's fucking sick. I love shit like that. It's awesome. Maybe it's the crying... Outside? No. I can turn my light off too. Never really has a purpose other than if you want to just look in a room that's like dark. So there's a door that we can open eventually, but we don't have the key for it. 
We do, however, have the key for this room. Let's see. What is in here? Ooh, the lighting is so fucking good. I can't really see what's going on in here. The key. This was a. This looks like a hotel room, pretty much. Really want you to grab that, huh? Okay. There's nothing interesting here. Employee elevator key. Okay. Can't really open this door, huh? No. What about this? The closet thing. Alright, so we have a door that's locked right now. That's a locked door. We went in there and grabbed an item. Particular. Uh, we still have stuff over here to check out, of course. Um, and then we have shit over here to check out as well. I think we're not going to have access to that area unless we use the elevator to access this part. And then there's also the stairs downward that go somewhere, which we still haven't done as well. So there's, still, there's still a lot of epic gamer stuff going on here. Why are these guys still here? Why are you still here, huh? I like, uh, another thing is, I like the enemies in this game way more than Silent Hill 1, where you just get attacked by birds, pretty much, the entire time. Where does this go? See, does this actually take you to the third floor? It does. Huh. Ah, yep. It's locked. Yep. Alright, that's how they get you. Wait, what? Wait, no, 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 go back. I missed that. Alright, say my name again. Do it. Ah. Uh, well, I guess I missed that audio clip. Whatever it was. This way takes us to... Over there, okay. So yeah, we've pretty much done all that. That means there's still stuff over there. I actually want to see where that basement part takes you. To go back down. <sighs> Music again. I like how the, um... The atmosphere changes. So what's down here? Where's this go? So this is the basement, okay. So again, we have more stuff to do. Uh, bar, Venus, Tears, and Kitchen. Alright, so yeah, that was a good thing we did this. There's something over here, apparently. Oh, hi. Wait, 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 wait. Hold on, I have a weapon for you. I have this really cool, like, fucking... I missed. Ow. Hold on. Alright, so yeah, I forget these characters, it's best to just use a weapon like this. I remember. So yeah, that's what you want to do with those guys. I remember that. That was like a weird memory of like a year ago. Oh, there's another one. Hold on, wait, come here. Hold on, wait. Back up, hold on. Yeah, yeah, come over here. I got a weapon for you. Come here. Alright. Come here. Ready for you, motherfucker. Come here. Come on. Squat up. Squat up. I fucking missed. Okay. Ow. Alright, well that's no fair. You gotta hit him. That's kind of fucked up. There we go. It's gonna take a lot of hits to kill this thing. Just spam it. There you go. Okay. 
That's that Avaz here. It's not something that I can use right now. Wait, what? I can use right now. So apparently, I guess I can use it at some point. The vase. Whoa. Alright, it did the thing again. So now I have to pull it up on... Fucking... I have to pull up on browser. The, uh, the thing. So I can actually see what's going on here. There we go. Okay. Alright. We're fine. Everything's good. It's locked. Why is it locked? Hmm. There's an item there. But I don't know if I want to touch it yet. I feel like it's enticing me to grab it. A th thinner? That's the... That's the elevator, I guess? So you have thinner. Which I believe is used for, like, sinks and shit, right? Small, filled with thinner. It was lying inside the elevator. I, I don't need to know that, but, you know, I was just... I don't know how it is. It's locked. Good. There's no reason for any of the bathrooms to ever be open. Uh, a small, encapsulated room door thing. That could potentially hold some kind of evil monster inside. Yeah, so from what we understand, that door is locked for now until we can get access to it. It's like the kitchen thing. Whatever. So, nice. Say it ain't so long. And we need to go this way. We've already explored all that and that shit, so yeah. Next is this way. What monsters lay ahead? I'm gonna use the shotgun, or at least I'm gonna have the shotgun out just in case. Staircase downwards to a big room, I guess. A hall and some other stuff over there. I'm pretty sure this door isn't gonna work. So I'm gonna check now. It does work, okay. There's an item there. Drink. Rifle shells. Happens. I think I have to go all the way downstairs for me to use the elevator. I think. So there's rooms over here we can actually check uh, check out and shit. So let's see. We have an, a room that doesn't go anywhere from what it looks like and two other rooms that doesn't seem to go anywhere. Let's see where they go. Employee elevator key, huh? What's in here? This is the employee elevator room, from what it looks like, okay. Uh, health? Drinks? Okay. Nothing else of interest? Ah, there we go. 2021. 9-29. So, September 29th, 2021. I think that's 10 hours. Wow, you get to see his funny face. So yeah, now it's 2022, 1020. 9:49. Is that what time it is? Really? I don't. I don't know what that timing means anymore. Save possible. Save to new file entirely. Huh. D 
Data 145. Hmm. I don't know. I don't know, man. But hey, I was able to actually find a save area. So that's good. Actually, I'm to save. These are memos hanging here, but nothing interesting is, is written. Okay, well, whatever. What does it say on his little thing? So yeah, it's a, uh... I don't know. I don't know what's on his shirt. I guess some patches. Shelf is empty. Shelf is empty. Okay, whatever. So that's an elevator we can use. I guess that goes somewhere. There's just stuff in there. So I guess the only way for you to use the elevators is that. It can't be open. Big door. Can't be open. Right. So now we have the ability to go into that shit. Let's see if we can go into this area over here. I'm sure we can. No, okay. So I guess we'll have to have access to those in another area? Maybe. Locked, can't enter, okay. Where's this go? It's downstairs. To what? Oh! Yo, okay. That's cool. So that takes us straight back to here. Still don't know if I can go into... I don't think I can go into Cafe Toka. I don't even know how for now. There seems to be a way outside over here as well. Which I didn't know of right here. Let's see, where does this go? can't leave this hotel just yet. Oh, so that's like the exit. Okay, I see, I see. Okay. So I guess we need to go this way. And we take the elevator up. I guess. Until we maybe need to go into the other elevator or something. I don't know. It's all just a bunch of shit. Take the loop to loop and pull. What? I guess I'll go. Let's go. So I'm in the second floor? I guess I'll go to the third floor. I guess I'll uh, close the door. Ah, uh, okay. Something written over the button. What's this? Wait allowance one person. Wait, what? Wait allowance one person. Uh, I'm confused. Do I have a second person in my inventory? Where's the little goblin in my inventory? Wait, allowance one person. Okay, so basically I can't use- Okay. I basically can't use it for now, I guess. Or something. I guess I'll overwrite it.
Okay. Ook. Ook. Het ook kut doet. So I can't even enter the hall anyways. So I can't even get into the ante room. Uh, the door is locked unless I use a key that I don't have. I guess I can try the other elevator that's in the basement or something. Yeah, whatever. Okay. Alright, I guess we'll try that. I to try the basement. Hee <laughs> hee. Can't do anything there. Tee hee. What is a man? Oh, there's another one. I didn't even see this one. So there's like two save points right next to each other. Why? Nothing unusual about it. Maybe one of these will be unusual for whatever reason. One of these random paintings that are unusual. Potentially. Alright, let's try the elevator again. Maybe I can get something. Oh, hi again. Okay. Just fucking die. Whatever. Okay. Reload. I don't know why it woke back up, but I guess I could use thinner. Um, I don't have anything else I can put in here. I have thinner, and I don't know what to put it on, so... It's locked. Use the thinner. Use thinner. Use thinner on door. Use the thinner on the door. This one doesn't need. Okay, never mind. I guess I can't use this elevator. Well, now I am stuck. Unless, there's stuff I can do outside. Oh, wait, no. No, that won't work. I, I was thinking of something, but I think I have to go outside now. The front port, the entrance or whatever, over here. Maybe there's something over here that I'm missing. Something. Anything. Wait, can I jump this thing? No jumping over anything. I guess I could try this. Let's see if this works. No, I can't even go in there. Use the thinner. I'm lost. Yeah, I don't know what to do. I think I remember using a guide for this part because I didn't know. 
what the fuck to do at some points in this game. I guess that's kind of the point, is you just exist or something. There's a bird. Can I use the, the paint thinner on the bird? All right, well that's that's uh that's that. Unless I can do this. Nope. I don't. I can use the paint thinner on the cat or whatever it is. I think it's paint thinner. Can I drink the paint thinner? May. I consume the paint. Consume thine paint, Thinner. All right, pour paint thinner on it. Pour the paint thinner. I'm trying to think. There was nothing out of the ordinary that I noted that I could put the thinner in, unless there's like one thing maybe, but it's kind of stretching it at this point. Um, any doors? No. So there's a save point, there's a musical note thing. Ah, shit. Okay. Use the paint thinner. Use the thinner on... on music note. Maybe that'll jam it up. Use thinner. Use key. Can I grab something from behind it? There's a music box here. Yeah? And maybe there's a maybe there's a, a unusual painting. Wait, actually, wait. This is a this is a hint, probably that I somehow didn't pick up on. Okay, there's a note here. Hints. So then the videotape you forgot here is being kept in the office on the first floor. Okay, so there's a videotape being kept on the first floor, right? The first floor. <laughs> I can't do anything uh, in these areas. I have no access to it. Even this part here. This whole entire section I have no access to. and click on things until something happens. There's nothing in the bag. You've already secured the bag. Shit. I already secured the bag. Maybe this globe has something to do with it. Or this weird painting. A picture of this hotel. Wait. Thinner. Shit. Come 
one. Can I open up the window? Shit. Can I open this up? Thinner. Use thinner. Fuck. Use thinner on random books. Okay, no. Don't use thinner on random books. So, this way or this way. Uh, 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 maybe I do this. Um, It's a puzzle, right? Maybe it's a puzzle that I can solve right now, but I just don't know how because I was not really giving given much information. I mean, I guess I if they're implying I drop everything, which I can't even do. Can I drop all of my stuff? No. Well, that's how you do it. So that's where we need to go. And we're here. Fuck. Okay, can I drop shit? No, I can't drop anything. I'm stuck with it, which means that there is... Wait. Theory. No, that's the wrong thing. A theory may have. No. Um. Ah, uh, shit. I'm. I'm. Don't. I don't know what to do. Wait allowance one person. <sighs> That's annoying. Okay. So there's there's a fucking Alright, I, I I think I give up at this point because I pretty much kind of explored everything. Uh to its extent at this point, and I don't know. There's literally nothing else I can probably do. So, I guess I'll pull up the fucking wiki or something, walkthrough, uh, of the wonderful map of the hotel that we're in. The Lakeview Hotel. Walk through Lakeview Hotel and it's IGN. Oh, fuck, of course it's IGN. I'm, fucking a piece of shit. I'm not doing IGN. What about porkford.com? Yeah, porkford.com sounds a little better. Add that. Yep. Huh? Leave the lobby through the doors on the right side. Okay. There's a key. Uh, 
activate a cutscene outside. Shotgun equipped. Okay. Take the paint thinner inside and head back upstairs. Okay. Okay. Grab the first aid kit and proceed to the other side. Grab all the bullets and the shelves. Use the fish key. Yep. 204. Yep. Take the bullets on the top table. Okay. Find some bullets in the main library. There's also another. Yep. I'll make a comment about medical books. Head towards the double doors at the end of the right wing. Kill them. Okay. Keep walking until the camera shifts when it does the door on the right. 204. Play elevator. Wait. Wait, what? Inside 204, you'll find an employee elevator sitting on the desk. Turn left from there, and you'll find a wall that has been broken. You can enter the next room from the hall. I didn't fucking know that. Okay. Well, I guess we'll do that because I didn't know that. Because I, I, I didn't see it. Because my character isn't like... I don't know, dude. I feel like that would have been something that I would have seen. I guess I missed it. really didn't check back in that room because I legitimately thought there's nothing else important in that room other than the key. The game made, it, made you think that it was the only thing there. Okay, well whatever, that's fine I guess. Fuck it. So I guess it's into that other room that was locked with a door. So there's apparently a giant fucking hole in the wall over here that I didn't see. Ah, uh, no. Wait. No, yeah. It's right here, apparently. I did not see this somehow. I somehow did not see this area. I don't know how. Our. Her. Photos scatter all over the bed. What's this? Ah. Photo has been colored over with a marker. And that's what we use the paint thinner for. Easy. Okay, we solved the mystery. Use thinner. Kill! <laughs> kill. I love it. Alright, so we typed kill. Dump. Cinderella. What else can I do in here? It's now unlocked. And that's how you do it. Hmm. Ok, 
Okay, so now we have two music boxes. Uh, I don't know if that unlocks shit. It might. The game might indicate that it unlocked something. Let's see. Music box with a figure from the fairy tale Cinderella attached down inside the trunk from room 202. It's like you can't use that here. What do you mean? So basically, you can take these and place them in. Okay, so that's that. I don't know what else I can do. Save 49. Okay, so, I found that. Key room is sitting on top of the desk. Yep. Once you enter the code on the suitcase, it will open and you will receive a second music box. You have a hard time reading the code. Try taking a screenshot and minimizing the size. Head out through the door um, on the hallway in the second landing. Grab the floor. Okay, so the elevator will start buzzing as soon as you uh, get in. Examine on the right side and click the paper above the buttons, and James will read the maximum weight allowances for one person. Oh, that's what the shelves are for. Examine the cabinet on the right side and you'll be able to put your stuff in. Everything has to go. You can't keep everything, anything with you, and you won't be able to go down. You should be able to operate the elevator now without uh, setting off the weight limit. Examine the buttons again and press first floor. The elevator will go down and you'll have access to the previously locked first uh, floor wing. Okay. I see now. So that that's what the shelf does. Okay. So... I didn't know that, but now I do. So now we will. But we need to Just come, come over here. And then not have access to my stuff. So we're gonna come over the, to this. Save. Save 50. Lose points. I think I can sell my. There you go, put my stuff in there. Let's see, can I get away with, um... I guess I- I guess I literally have to go in here with nothing. Now I have access to this area. Whoa. 
employee map for employees. So now I do have a map for employees, which means that the entire thing has been filled out. So, okay. So now we have access to this area. Which means I can do something like this, right? Nah. <laughs> nah. So what, I can't find anything on this entire floor, basically. Right? There shouldn't be anything kill deadly here, I assume. So I'm gonna assume... I'm gonna assume everything's fine. Uh, we're just gonna start exploring. Like a boss. Let's see. Hello? Locked, you can't open it. 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 Or can't open it. There's something over here. Potatoes and onions smell slightly rotten. I have uh, an item here I want to grab. The white snow. Tea bags and cookies are all past expiration dates. So we grabbed an item there in the pantry. We still have a bunch of rooms to check out. Back here. Manager's residence. Men's locker room, women's locker room, employee lounge, telephone operator's room, office, gift shop, um, security office, manager's office, uh, unnamed room, you know, the usual. Every door that I can't open means progress. Door I can't open has a staircase. It's downwards. Somewhere. too dark in here for me to read, apparently. This is a... I don't know if I trust this room. What's in here? Oh yeah, there's, uh, there's a, there's a monster in there that I can't fight. Okay, so I'm just gonna go away from that. That's, uh, that's something that I, I can't fight, so I'm just gonna avoid it. Entirely and just never touch it. Oh. What are you? Yeah, oh, it's the tape. Video tape. Yo, is that a weapon? I got a can opener. That's my weapon. That's my new weapon, baby. That's my new weapon. tape I got from the hotel years ago. Why? Okay. This would be a good safe room game. No? Yeah. Cool safe room. No, like locker. Can't open it ever. That's kind of dumb. That's uh. Ah. 
<sighs> Anyways. Let's see, so we have two rooms. We have this one. Oh, there's a laundry hamper. Can I do anything with it? Is that a puzzle? It's locked. I can't open it. This is the laundry. I can't open it. Too dark to read. Hold on. No, it's not. Because I have a shadow now. Play lounge, women's soccer, and then manager's res residence, as well as the security office, manager's office, stuff like that. Okay. Now I can't see. It's too dark. Remember, if you have a shadow, you can see. If you don't, there's a schedule book here. The date is from one year ago. Okay. What else? Can you see in here? James. Rifle ammo, rifle ammo. Wait. That's just gonna be taking up space in my inventory. Wait, hold on. Hold on just one second. There's no reason I should have this in my inventory. Mm. I'm gonna try to beat this game. No. No weapons run when I don't have anything. I can't do anything. I can't fight anybody. I, I just exist. Can I like do like a... Oh, I can. That's fine. This is a... Uh... Shutters are closed. Is that... It's too dark to read. Okay. Can't go that way. Can't go that way. Okay. So there's still more... I can't do anything now, because I literally can't. Check here, there's no way to open it. So that means I cannot access to the, I have access to those areas. There is, however, an area there that I can check out. I don't think I can leave now. I think it screams at me. It does not scream at me. So can I take this elevator up? Nope. You're not allowed to take the elevator up. So I have to get past the monster that lives in here. Is what I'm getting at. There's a fucking stupid ass monster here that I can't do anything against. Okay. I just have to get past you. Ow. So now there's a storeroom, elevator, pump room, boiler room, electrical room, kitchen, shit like that, right? So my thought process is, I just need to get... Out. Into here. Right? Yes, the kitchen. Because this should take us to where we need to go. I am low in health, but that's fine. There's health right here. So, I, my goal right now is to just get, like, back to my weapons and then come back here as soon as I can. I did not- I- I keep fucking hitting the wrong button. I'm not even joking, I keep hitting the wrong button and I don't mean to. There you go. Free health is all it takes. What was that? I can. I can. I can. I can. I can open that. What's in there? They had an animation for it. There's light bulbs in the can. I got a light bulb. All right. Okay. Anything in the fridge? Can't open it. That doesn't make sense. Can I? Yo, this place is banger. This place is awesome. Look at this. Just a random bar in here. Okay, what music do we got? Broken. There's a lamp on the counter. There's no light bulb to turn it on. Yeah, there is. Light right here, idiot. What's going on? 
Why, why did it need a light bulb? What? What was the point in this? I, I don't... I can't interact with it now, so what the fuck? Unless... Maybe... Do something like Nope. What the fuck was the point in that? Unless... I can grab another light bulb. I don't need it anymore. What the fuck was the point in that? <laughs> I need to get the light bulb. I need to get the light bulb. <sighs> okay, I'll try the liquor storage then. And then the, I guess, electrical room? I don't... I don't know. I can't fight the monsters in here. Ow. Can you not? Hold on, get out of the way. Alright. Can't yeah, open that. There's two rooms left I can try opening. The storeroom and then the other thing. Hold on, stop it. Hold on, stop it. Ow. Stop. Okay, this is just stupid because I can't fucking... Okay. How dead am I? Very dead. Okay. Well, what the fuck am I supposed to do then? Because I can't fucking do anything. Oh my god. Walk through. So I need to go into the boiler room. Inside the boiler room, you'll find a first aid kit and the bar key. Side. So I missed the fucking bar key. Is that what it is? In the fucking boiler room? Because, of course, I can't fucking read. So that's cool. Oh yeah, they're they're easy to avoid, by the way. Just wanted to let you know. Okay. But again, because I keep thinking that, that kind of helped. Okay. So I need to run forward around the corner and then into the kitchen again. Okay, fuck you. An asshole. Okay, there, there we go. We're good. We're in the fucking stupid ass room. Grab the key so I can exit out and then grab my shit. And then not fucking worry about it. There you go. What the fuck was the point of the lamp? So now we're in the main area again. Which means I can leave and go to the thing that I need to go to. So grab my shit and then I guess solve the puzzle. Unless the game throws a bunch of enemies at me for no reason, which I doubt it will. That would be stupid. The more I think about it, the more I realize I don't think I needed the flashlight other than to read the map. Oh great, nice. We have random enemies here. So that's what they decided to do. 
last second. Thank you. Got all my stuff back. Which means I can... God damn it, I fucking... Okay, so... There's that. Pick one of these bad boys. Two of those bad boys. Equip the old... Mm, not that. I guess I'll use the pistol. And then... I guess I'll have to fight them or something. Or just not waste ammo. I guess I could also do that. But, whatever. Alright, let's shoot them. Let's kill. Hi. Oh. Uh, I guess they're not here anymore. Uh, false alarm. I guess they're not here. So, I guess I'll move on now. I don't... I guess I'll go downstairs and then place the thing in. And then realize I failed the puzzle. And then do the puzzle all over again. Let's see. I fucking hit the wrong button again. Because I keep fucking doing that. Because the start button is the inventory, not the triangle button. Does that make sense? I solved the puzzle! I got a key to something. Then these doors open. Um, none of these doors go anywhere. So I guess the only way to leave is upstairs, right? Because I think I got a key where I'm supposed to go. Let's use that key on this. Let's go inside. Alright, let's see. So before we go into the obvious room, we still have a couple places to check first of all. Let's see if the game forces us to do it first. Okay, so far so good. There's a lovely wall painting here. There's a painting hanging on the wall. It looks like a landscape of the area. Locked? Okay. What else? There's a locked doors here. Locked. Locked. And locked. Okay, so that's everything. As you can see here, we did every single possible option except for the funny room where it says meet me here or something. Alright, let's meet them. Room 312. Most normal room in the entire game. It's right here. Here it is. Completely normal. No issues whatsoever. It's beautiful. It's a beautiful room. This is where we fucked, James. Oh. No. There's a television here. Even when it's plugged in, 
All I get is snow. That's the NES system. I played Mario on this. Okay, so there's that. This is the room. Nothing exciting here. This was pointless. Uh... There's a mystery here that I need to solve. Let's see. I need to solve this mystery. Oh, yes, yeah, that's, that's right. I forgot I have a VHS thing. Here we go. Let's play it. I can't use that here. Well, on this thing. I hit the wrong fucking button again. I gotta keep doing that. The entire fucking stream. This is it. This is it. I don't know what's gonna happen. Don't do it, James. You're gonna cause a ghost person to come crawling out of that TV. Are you taping again? Come on. <sighs> I don't know why, but I just love it here. It's so peaceful. You know what I heard? This whole area used to be a sacred place. I think I can see why. It's too bad we have to leave. Please promise you'll take me again, James. I need- I think you need to fix the connection, James. I think the v VHS is fucked, James.
sorry. The Mary you know isn't here. I wish it this played the entire time, but it doesn't. Yeah. Oh, this song. I love this song too. This is a good one. Starting to drip. James, you fucking, you gotta do this shit. You gotta get through this, man. I feel like I'm doing like a fucking pyrocynical video. As you can see, James Psyche is not right. <laughs> Everything seems to be going wrong. Just like me when I haven't had a bowl of cereal in the morning. Some some stupid shit like that, right? That wasn't really that funny, but you get the point. Oh god. Let's just get out of here. Oh fuck. It's trapped the scene! I guess I better use the old shotgun. Just in case. Place is normal, I guess. I pressed the switch but nothing happened, so my my flashlight doesn't work anymore, I guess. Is it just dead? Yeah, it just doesn't work now. What's this? Mary's going to die. You, you must be joking. Must be joking. I'm very sorry. But you're a doctor. It's your job to heal people. How can you just let her die? Please, calm down. As her doctor, I promise I'll do what I can. But... There's still no effective treatment for her condition. How long does she have? I'm afraid I'm not sure. Three years at most. Perhaps six months. It's impossible to say with certainty.
What? The fuck are we? So now we're in 204. Okay. This room 201. Now we're in 219. Huh. Now we're in 207. So this is the game's kind of way of doing like the industrial shit, you know, like in the first game, there's the whole industrial stuff going on, where like it's like, you know what I'm talking about? So now we're in like the fucked up places, you know, we're in like the really messed up stuff now. So basically, I guess we can try taking this elevator, so we can actually take the elevator. Where are we dropping, boys? Let's see. I guess we'll go to the basement. Third floor. I guess the basement. Actually, save. So, like, the weird water shit happened. That's kind of interesting. Yo. Now, yeah, listen to some bangers. Jukebox, I got no use for that right now. What do you mean? Water effects looking pretty sick, too, by the way. I saw just angle, like, shotgun, whatever. See what happens. Angle that shotgun, motherfucker. Boom, boom. You know what I'm saying? Oh, nice. Nice. We have some more enemies to fight anyway. Or not? For now, at least. Shotgun shells, that's always good. What's this? So, we have a med kit and some bulbs. Nothing useful here. Get some bulbs. No, the first aid kit, silly. Okay. So we have more shit that we're gonna have to check out here. Let's see. So we just have to make it straight to the staircases, basically. Okay. And then we get out of here through the back door area, if you know. Back up. Oh, 
You gotta defend yourself, James. Song go off though. Damn. The hell? looking for you. Now he's the only one left. Maybe then. Maybe then I can rest. Mama, why are you running away? You're not my mama. It's, it's you. Angela, no. Yes. Angela, no. <laughs> Angela, no. Thank you for saving me. No problem. But I wish you hadn't. Aw. Even Mama said it. <clears throat> I deserved what happened. No, Angela, that's wrong. No, don't pity me. I need to go to Silent Hill. I'm not worth it. Or maybe you think you can save me. Will you love me? Take care of me? Heal all my pain? It's with this like camera angle, man. It's like she's holding the phone. <laughs> That's what I thought. James. Give me back that knife. No. I... I won't. Saving it for yourself? Me? N no. I never kill myself. like this damn you may be cold but everywhere you see it's hot I go this way no I guess it actually hurts me I guess I can just watch her disappear into the fire. I guess there's nothing I can do here, huh? Okay. I guess I just sleep now. I don't know where else to go, though, but... I guess I move on. Oh! Oh! Shit, there's something over here, maybe. Hold up. Check that out. Or not? Alright, so I guess we continue. I really do hope that this game ends up being like... Like the... the um, I hope that the game... That the remake is gonna be really good. That's all I hope. Uh, it looks like we're gonna exit through down there. So that means we're gonna have to probably fight something on the way. That's just how it is. Let's see. Nice camera angles.
Ow. Oh, I see. That's kind of cool. But I don't necessarily even need to shoot them. It's just a waste of ammo. I do want to reload, though. I guess I'll heal. Yeah, sorry if I'm not going to do, like, any crazy commentary today, just because this game is just kind of, like, taking front and center, pretty much. At least for me it is. I I'm making sure that this game gets all the attention it deserves. Oh, there's the... There it is. Where are we now? I guess somewhere. I think we're coming to the end here, but I think there's gonna be like one final boss that we have to fight, and then it'll be over. As it always is. This looks like it's it. Punish me for my sins. But that's all over now. I know the truth. Now it's time to end this. Damn! My boy fucking went hard. Alright, let's get that fucking hunting rifle if possible. Oh god. Ow. So what? Okay, so I need to... Ow. Ow. Wait, so... I Okay, so that definitely doesn't work, and I definitely am gonna die here. Okay, let's see. That gives me back to full. But yeah, I basically... Okay. So that doesn't work. Let's see. So I do have a hunting rifle with hunting ammo, but I don't know what it... Exactly is for. Um... First, they're fast. We already know that. Okay. I see, I see, okay.
epic strategy, dude. I'm gonna reload. Alright. No, ow. Alright. Oh my god, I'm so low on health. Okay. Med kit. Med kit. Reload. Wait. Do I not have any- No, I have ammo. There you go. Stop it. Okay. I'll just reload from this screen. No. Equip. Okay. dead. Cool. So that's how you do it, I guess, for now. I guess I'll use the shotgun, but... Okay, I killed them. Yeah, that that's kind of... I kind of like... They were making dinking noises, and a normal game, like, understanding is that whenever something makes a dink noise, you think, oh, the, it's hitting off of armor, making them basically invulnerable to attacks. And that was my thought process. Oh. This is not where I was supposed to go, but I guess I'll save. There's a round indentation in the door. Oh great, I don't have that, do I? I do not. I missed something, at some point. Oh my god. There's a fucking round indentation in the door. There's actually two other fucking fights. Hmm. Unless they have it. Oh, I got it. Okay.
Oh, it's normal. Okay. It's locked. Can I just leave, I guess? I don't know. Uh... I don't have a map for this area. Okay. So Mary? Now what do you want, James? I, uh... I brought you some flowers. Flowers? I don't want any damn flowers. Just go home already. Mary, what are you saying? Look, I'm disgusted. I don't deserve flowers. Between the disease and the drugs, I look like a monster. Well, what are you looking at? Get the hell out of here! Leave me alone already! I'm no use to anyone. Be dead soon anyway. Maybe today. Maybe tomorrow. It'd be easier if they'd just kill me. But I guess the hospital is making a nice profit off me. They want to keep me alive. Are you still here? I told you to go! Are you deaf? Don't come back! James! Wait! Oh no. Is that on purpose? Is this a new boss fight? Because the game likes to throw bosses at you. And I guess last second. I guess I'll just use the shotgun and... I, I can't go this way. Uh... Apparently, this doesn't work. Yeah. Sorry, you can't enter. Which I guess makes sense, because it's flooded, but... Whatever. Not this way. Come on, James. Got this, James. Mary? When will you ever stop making that mistake? Mary is dead. You killed her. Maria? It's you. But I don't need you anymore. What? You must be joking. But I can be yours. I'll be here for you forever. Get away from me. And I'll never yell at you or make you feel bad. Get That's away what from you me. Wanted. I'm different than Mary. How can you throw me away? You scare me. I understand now. It's time to end this nightmare. No. I won't let you. You deserve to die too, James. Oh my god. Oh my god. Ow. What the hell? I guess I'll use the... Uh, where is it? I guess I'll just use this. I don't even know if I'm doing it. Oh, 
so what, the bats are just gonna be fucking obnoxious? Stop it. Am I, like, getting killed by the bats somehow? You go inside. Stop it! Oh shit! Oh my god! Uh, oh, I only have one bullet left, okay. I think I'm doing this right. Who knows? It's just a fucking boss battle. Fucking do nothing, but stop it. Stop that. Shooting her until she's dead. Oh god. Stop it. So I am like slowly dying. Mary? <coughs> James. Forgive me. Song. I told you that I wanted to die, James. I wanted the pain to end. That's why I did it, honey. I just couldn't watch you suffer. No. 
That's not true. You also said you didn't want to die. The truth is, I hated you. I wanted you out of the way. I wanted my life back. James, if that were true, then why do you look so sad? Mary? James. Please. Please do something for me. Go on with your life. In my restless dreams, I see that town. Silent Hill. You promised you'd take me there again someday, but you never did. Well, I'm alone there now, in our special place, waiting for you. Waiting for you to come to see me. But you never do. And so I wait, wrapped in my cocoon of pain and loneliness. I know I've done a terrible thing to you. Something you'll never forgive me for. I wish I could change that. But I can't. I feel so pathetic and ugly laying here, waiting for you. Every day I stare up at the cracks in the ceiling, and all I can think about is how unfair it all is. The doctor came today. He told me I could go home for a short stay. It's not that I'm getting better. It's just that this may be my last chance. I think you know what I mean. Even so, I'm glad to be coming home. I've missed you terribly. But I'm afraid, James. I'm afraid you don't really want me to come home. Whenever you come see me, I can tell how hard it is on you. I don't know if you hate me or pity me, or maybe I just disgust you. I'm sorry about that. When I first learned that I was going to die, I just didn't want to accept it. I was so angry all the time, and I struck out at everyone I loved most, especially you, James. That's why I understand if you do hate me. I want you to know this, James. I'll always love you. Even though our life together had to end like this, I still wouldn't trade it for the world. We had some wonderful years together. <laughs> Well, this letter has gone on too long, so I'll say goodbye. I told the nurse to give this to you after I'm gone. That means that 
as you read this, I'm already dead. I can't tell you to remember me. But I can't bear for you to forget me. These last few years since I became ill, I am so sorry for what I did to you, did to us. You've given me so much and I haven't been able to return a single thing. That's why I want you to live for yourself now. Do what's best for you, James. James, you made me happy. Well, um, fuck. <laughs> fuck. Me. Oh. Um. Oh, fuck. Ugh. <laughs> um. I'm happy I, w I finished the game, but fuck. <sighs> well, I guess he fucking left Silent Hill or something. I don't... I guess he left Silent Hill. I don't know what the fucking point of the girl was. I, I guess she was just there. I don't know. Fuck. Uh, yeah, um, <sighs> um, I, I, I hate fucking, I hate, like, diseases and shit, and I hate, like, all that stuff. I hate cancer, I, I hate all that, you know, just something that's just gonna fucking take your life away. Anything that's just, like, not natural, I guess, you know, like, old age or something just is fucked. Especially with, I don't even know how old they were, but they, assuming that they're like in their 30s, it's still really fucking young. And it's always something that just feels completely unfair when something like that, like getting like any, some something like that, that just basically means that you're fucking dead, 
you know, your days are numbered kind of shit is just always just saddening and depressing and I, f I hate it. And so, uh... <sighs> so yeah, that fucking ending got to me pretty good. I'm still fucking choked up about it. Um... Jesus, man. Oh, there might be an ending here. Hold on. Um, maybe not. Yeah, um, that was amazing. God damn, my rank is a bunch of stars. Uh, what a fucking journey that was. Um, boat stage, <laughs> max speed, walking distance. I walked way more than I did running, because I just walked, you know. Total time, 8 hours, saves 54, ending clear, 1 out of 4, I don't even know what that means. Ending, leave. What does that mean? Ending, leave. I guess there's isn't, I guess there's multiple endings or something in this game, but I think I got the literal, like, I think I got the ending, right? Or something, I don't know, but I love this result screen music, it's always good. Fuck. Yep. This game's fucking fantastic. Save clear data? Yep. This game- that, this game was amazing. Uh, fucking awesome. Uh, I don't know what this is, I guess this is New Game Plus or something. Letter from Silent Heaven. Born from a wish. What is this? I guess there's more shit to do. I don't know. Not my problem. Not my not my thing. I I beat the main game and I already know that I'm good, you know. Um <sighs> That was sad, um, but yeah, at least I finished it, uh, yep, um, I, I guess, um, I, I gotta read it, right? Fuck me, the fucking ending thing, it's so depressing and sad. Uh. I don't even want to think about it because I, I know there's people out there that fucking go through that shit like probably every single day there's just one person out there that goes through that. Um, so yeah, um, no stream for, no streaming for tomorrow and Friday, I'm going to get these uh, streams uploaded tomorrow and Friday and um, Hopefully, I'll get them all uploaded. The ones that I actually want to upload, I'll get them hopefully uploaded. Um, so yeah, thank you so much for watching. Um, this game did not... This game brought tears to my eyes, that ending. But it did not fall down my face. So I count that as... Um, um, yeah, I count that as something, but it still fucking made me fucking choke. Uh, I'm... Fuck. Okay, 
so what do I rate this game? So, fucking the music is the best fucking music. Um, fucking better than Silent Hill One, better than Silent Hill Three. Um, uh, in terms of the soundtrack, uh, actually, I think there's some really good songs in Silent Hill Three though, like really really good songs. So I I, I guess I'll have to play Silent Hill Three. Um, I played Silent Hill One. Oh, sorry, I played Silent Hill One. I played Silent. Hill but I have not played Silent Hill 3 yet, and I've been contemplating on even playing it. Um, maybe I should. Uh, I know Silent Hill 3 is, like, different. Like, all of them are different, and I feel like Silent Hill 2 was, like, the perfect flavor of, like, kind of, like, I don't know. It was, it was the perfect combination of fantastic fucking music great story i guess i mean like yeah no the story was good it, it's uh, it was really good and the fucking the environment just yeah you know, i was very immersed in the environment and it's just um i guess my complaints would be the boss battles are pretty lame but given the shitty fucking i wouldn't say call them shitty but like given the limited movement controls you even really have to begin with I think it was fine. Um, I know you could probably do some crazy movements and do that way better and less clunkly, uh, clunkily, 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 the fuck, less clunky uh, movement that I did um, that would make it actually like more fun, I guess. I don't know how to describe it, but um, yeah, it's just like uh, fucking. The story is really good. The environment is really good. The or, aka the level design is great. I love exploring. Like it's such a fun exploration game. Um, I had a blast playing it. Uh, I, even though yes, I did have the other ones. I just didn't really ever um get to finishing the game. Now that we finished it, especially with the announcement of. Silent Hill 2 Remake. Uh, I guess I'll have to play it again. <laughs> I guess I'll have to play it through again when that releases at some point. I don't know when that's gonna release. I don't know. Um, I guess it's getting close to being finished. Uh, they didn't exactly show gameplay, but that's fine. It kind of brings me back to like when games didn't have to show gameplay to really entice you into wanting to play it. They showed, I think they showed very minuscule amount of gameplay in it. Um, yeah. So, I, even though, you know, like, the complaints that I had are so minuscule, like, if you really want to know my complaints for this game, uh, just fucking go watch the playthrough on the VOD channel. Um, and then this one eventually when I get it up. Uh, yeah, just go fucking see my complaints there that are very minuscule and probably just because I'm an idiot, uh, who didn't, who didn't bother to check thoroughly like you should in an exploration survival horror game. Um, as you can see, I ended up having more than enough ammo by the end. I don't remember why I ended up having more ammo than I did. I think I just was really good at fucking scrounging my ammo up and never using it unless I had to bite with specific enemies from what it looks like. I don't even remember. I think my favorite fucking se section of the of Sion Hill 2 was the hotel. Like, the first hotel you go into. I love the beginning of this game. Uh, I love exploring that area and just kind of going through the different rooms and stuff and just kind of like this labyrinth style of just like exploration, just you, you know, like Resident Evil kind of thing, you know. Um, I loved it. I I really do need to play Resident Evil one, like the remake one. Um, I feel like I do need to play it. Maybe uh, I don't know. The controls are probably even worse in that game, cause yeah, I don't know. Silent Hill Two did it right uh, compared to that, and um, yeah. Uh, Resident Evil 4 was also fantastic too, whenever I played it on the Wii version. Uh, I love the I, that was a good one. I'm happy I played through that. 
I'm a gamer. Well, at least I can say I actually finished the playthrough um, on stream and have that finished. Uh, I could not bring myself to actually finish Shinmu 3. I, I, I legitimately was just, I could not handle the game anymore. I just could not, I, I was just like, this is, this is bad. So, like, I was not wanting to keep playing it. Like, Shinmu 1 and 2 were great. I was able to get through it because I was actually genuinely enjoying it. Um, I guess maybe I could try Scorn. Uh, but I've heard Scorn isn't really that good. I don't know. I guess I'd have to see what fucking other people think about it, I guess. Um... But I love walking simulators, you know, like, the beginner's guide is great, love it. That's an entire walking simulator about a fake story about this kid that this the developer of the game knew about, that he just started uploading their games or something, and then trying to find meaning in the games that never had meaning to begin with. He just was just a friend that was being harassed by this guy, and he got very annoyed by it. I don't know. It's really, it's really weird, and there's like this weird symbolism slash explanation this like guy tried to find in these games, which never had any explanation or any reasoning, and just was just being obnoxious. I don't know. I I say play the beginner's guide because it's worth it. It's really cool. Um. Yeah. Uh. I forgot I added FIFA to one of the tags. So yeah, um, with the all, everything in mind about this game, um, has some of the best, you know, memorable fucking music. I remember, like, I remember every song that was playing, I was just like, fuck yeah. You know, any of, like, the calmer music, I'm just like, fuck yeah, you know, the relaxing ones. Any of, like, the industrial shit um, is less memorable because that just kind of becomes kind of like a background noise. Um, but yeah, all the, like, somber, like, you know, like, the ending music and everything, and with that note being read, and then the music kicks in after the, after the letter's been read, fuck, so good. So... I think this is a 10 out of 10 game. Easily. I, I still think about this game. Even, even when I didn't finish it, I'm definitely, even now after finishing the ending, I'm going to still be thinking about this game. I'm going to still be thinking about the music. I'm still going to be thinking about the settings and just the characters. I... It's a timeless fucking game. Uh, it's it's uh, one of the best, you know, survival horror games ever made. Definitely, it's 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 an experience that needs to be experienced by everyone. You don't even have to play Silent Hill one. Um, and you don't even have to play Silent Hill three. Uh. I mean, Sound Hill 3 is also considered a classic. I'd consider Sound Hill 1, 2, and 3 the trilogy. That's pretty much all you need to play. You don't have to play any of the other Sound Hill games that have come out afterwards. I don't know, even know if they're good or not. I'll have to maybe try them at some point on stream, actually play through them. Um, Sound Hill 1 was a journey, but that was just like a something else, you know? I ended up getting the... Decent ending, I think. It wasn't the best ending, it was a decent ending. Because I missed an item. Like, one singular item that mattered in that entire point. And then I ended up getting the bad ending or something like that. Um, if you watch the playthrough, you'll see. But you be aware that there is cringe. Yeah, this game is so fucking, it's far superior in every single fucking way. Um, 
I don't even remember what I ranked the first one. But yeah, this one is a 10 out of 10. And I, I you know, like, I think Shinmu has almost reached a 10 out of 10 status. And that game is still memorable to me. I think Shinmu 2... Yeah, Shinmu 1 and Shinmu 2 both ended up getting a 9.5 out of 10. Um... Because they had some weird flaws to it that were just kind of dumb. This game, this game is a good representation of you don't need scope in a game to be good. You can you can do everything right and just you know it's like there's so much about this game because again we saw the girl and. And she, I think her Angela. she just goes away. You fight the one guy, you know, the big guy, and he's uh, attacks you, and then you have to kill him. And then you have what's his name? Uh, the, the girl who I guess is the closest thing he has to somebody who knew who Mary was. I guess I don't know why the fuck she was there, and I don't know what happens afterwards with. Those two, because they seem to both leave through a graveyard, which I don't remember the graveyard, so I, I don't know what that's all about. Um, there's, I feel like I need to watch like an ending explained kind of thing, like where the fuck does James go afterwards? I guess he's just like leaves. He, he experiences some of that and he just leaves or something. I don't, I don't know. I, I don't, I don't know, I don't know. Um. Is there another character? Oh yeah, the fucking Maria, who is just there to basically be a backseater the entire time. Um, uh, I never really liked Maria, but that's the point. She's just kind of a character that is there to support a character's, like, I guess, <clears throat> I don't know. Um, but she's necessary to the story plot because she looks like um, Mary. And he is able at the very end to fight his demons, and he finally overcomes it all, in, in a sense, by fighting it literally. Um, and then he, I guess he finally is able to move on. I guess the ending is James never killed her. <laughs> he never, I don't think he killed her, unless he guess maybe he did. I, I don't think he pulled the plug or anything like that. I think she just died from the fucking disease. Or maybe, maybe he did kill her. I guess, no, I guess he did. She, if, I guess I get, let me connect the pieces. So she basically, what is it? So basically she, um, she came back home, I guess, she's not getting better, and so I guess they just send her home to be with him for a while, and he decides to basically put her out of her misery, I guess, put some kind of drugs or some something to basically kill her, so she doesn't, I guess, she he thinks in his mind that she was suffering or something, I don't know, and so then he puts the body, he reads the note or something, and then puts the body in the trunk of his car, drives to Silent Hill, and then goes through the entire journey of coping um, to, I guess, try to understand his own feelings and to maybe, I guess, find a healthy version or something of her. Maybe he, he can find an answer or maybe, maybe he just forgot that that letter, because that letter that he got was sent to him after the fact or something. I don't know, but I know for a fact that canonically her dead corpse is in the back of the truck, uh, or car, uh, sorry, the back of the car, the trunk of the car. Um, I think that's a canonical thing. Um, so I think, yeah, I think it was just him coping about the whole incident of him doing it and then kind of like, I seriously, I don't exactly know why he went. I guess he just went to Silent Hill. Well, 
Well, no, because he, he genuinely, for some reason, thought that Mary was there. I don't know. I don't know. There's a lot of symbolism and nothing really explained, and that's... I feel like if you actually, like, looked into it and speculated more thoroughly with all the evidence laid out, you could probably pinpoint his thought process on the entirety, the entire events of the game up to the ending. And moving on, I guess. I don't know. But, yep, 10 out of 10. I'm feeling it. Not bullshit, not sugarcoating, not giving it any kind of nostalgia factor because I literally did not grow up with this game. Um, I literally did not play this as a kid. But yeah, uh, I guess maybe, I don't know how Silent Hill 3 could ever live up to this game. I don't know if it can or if it will. Um, I've never played Silent Hill 3, so I'd have to see. I feel like Silent Hill 3, the only thing that probably has it going for it is the soundtrack. I don't know how good Silent Hill 3 is compared to Silent Hill 2. Um, I guess I could see what the internet has to say. Let's see here. Let's see, Silent Hill 2 versus Silent Hill 3, which is your favorite and why? I, let's see here. Welcome to the, rep uh, well, uh, feedback is welcome, but replies are never either. Okay. Alright, let's see here. This is a long fucking string of text. I've been torn for years on which the original trilogy is my favorite, um, on which of the original trilogy is my favorite, because there is so much to appreciate about both. On one hand, if not, um, if not most veteran players would consider 3 to have the best gameplay, it fully realizes and expands on the classic mechanics for overall more complete balance. Granted, I like a lot about, um, I like a lot about Silent Hill 4, The Room, too. It got too. It got far too much negativity for what it tried to do, but does um, admittedly feel more detached from the series' roots. Prior to its more experimental approach, which changed several gameplay aspects, three had virtually perfected the original control scheme. Okay, so apparently the control scheme gets better in the third one. Okay, in terms of my fa of, of favorite protagonists, protagonists, I similarly have to award. A point to three, and that Heather slash Cheryl is the most three dimensional main lead in probably any Silent Hill game to date. She's more relatable, down to the uh, down to earth, fleshed out, shows more on screen emotion, and has more personality, which informs her arc. Um, Harry Mason and James Sunderland um, are well done protagonists in their own right. Of course, not necessarily inferior to Heather. It's almost unfair to compare what are essentially three fundamentally different characters and content and concepts. But I just can't relate to or resonate with them as much personally. As immersive as first two games are in horror, plus tone, I also have to give three the edge in presentation. Not just in graphics and effects, with some hauntingly beautiful levels, like the bleeding halls in, uh, in the mirror room. But for the sheer degree slash depth um, to which the it puts the technology at the time, um, I couldn't even begin to attempt a one-on-one -on -one comparison for music or sound as uh, sound design, as both entries have so much great stuff that is often made very differently. It goes um, it goes in its own directions and evokes different feelings. My favorite series main theme. Though, easily threes. You're not here, no question. Man, this guy has a fucking hard-on for three. Uh, regarding plot and atmosphere, however, this is where I favor two. While three was designed from the ground up as a sequel, I maintain my assignment that two's silent, uh, 
Two is Team Silent's best standalone story, despite also having connections to the original game that are kept primarily in the background for world building. Um, okay. It has the original trilogy's um, most iconic, not to mention the most uh, reiterated or copied monsters. One of the most terrifying antagonists in Pyramid Head, uh, aka Red Pyramid Head thing. Some of the series' darkest subject matter and arguably the best version of the town which we got to openly explore. Okay. The town itself has always been the true star of the franchise in relation to gameplay and slash or lore. A character all, um, all its own, but we don't spend nearly as much time there in 3 since Heather's journey manifests the nightmare world and places outside Silent Hill. A first for the series back then. Okay. Three's locals um, are memorable for stunning visuals that still hold up very well, but there is just something about Silent Hill's identity that gets lost when the town is no longer the primary setting. It makes sense in context for Heather's story, but at the cost of neglecting such a timeless and influential location. It's a unique atmosphere that ultimately just can't be uh, replicated to the same result anywhere else, in my opinion. That's uh, part of what makes it special, which is one of the reasons uh, reason fans were so heavily divided on 4. So, to the end of this rant, I love all the original games for each of their own reasons. Well, um, well, as most of their differences, I absolutely had to choose my favorite experience as a whole through. Two just barely edges out three for me. In a perfect world, my ideal Silent Hill game would be a balance of world atmosphere, uh, more like two's gameplay, like threes, at least. In, yeah. So this person went like, spent like five minutes explaining how, like, constantly giving three the edge in everything, and then saying that two is their favorite one. Just by it, barely. Okay. Um, so what I kind of thought Silent Hill was originally going to be was kind of like a Twilight Zone scenario where everybody sees the town differently and they all go have their own demons. That's like what Silent Hill 2 was saying, is that um, everyone has their own demons in Silent Hill. And they it, whenever you go to Silent Hill... It's supposedly supposed to be a town that takes you back, but then you also, it, it's it's actually just a, a foolish mistake into believing so, where it's all worked and disorientating because it's actually just what you, it's kind of like you're going through bad memories, essentially, despite it looking like a place that would be a good memory, as everyone describes it to be, right? And just like the Angela, she sees Silent Hill differently, and she has her own demons she's fighting. And they go to Silent Hill. I guess it's like a weird thing. I agree with Silent Hill 2 edging out 3. As much as I love 3, I found the cast in Silent Hill 2 and their personal experiences in the town extremely compelling. Not to say 3 didn't have a good cast, especially Heather, but I found myself less interested in their ordeals. Silent Hill 2 stood stood the test of time in my memory far better than 3 has, even though I loved the gameplay of 3, especially the fun unlockables. I prefer 2... Okay. So, pretty much everyone's just gonna feel the exact same way. Um, interesting. So, good. I still love the music of 2, and there's a bunch of good music in 3, like the Saver music, um, my favorite fucking Sanctuary, Silent Hill 3, Sanctuary, Silent Hill 3, uh, Sanctuary of a Small, or End of a Small Sanctuary, uh, which is a save, uh, save room. Oh yeah, that's coming out in 20, okay, that's cool. This is, this is a great song. This is a, I guess, a save room music or something?
Yeah, good shit. Good shit, bro. <sighs> I love it. But yeah, fucking fantastic game. Great fucking ending. Fucking memorable for the years to come. Just. You can only experience that once, really, honestly. And, I mean, like, obviously you can play it over and over again, obviously, but I'm saying, like, you're never gonna get that feeling that you get at the end. Uh, unless it's Wally. Uh, <laughs> Wally made me cry twice, so. That's why it's my favorite movie of all time, anyways. Um, uh, yeah. Anyways, have a good morning, good day, good afternoon, good night. Um, I guess we'll see what we're going to be playing next time. I guess we'll do some Silent Hill 2. Or sorry, Silent Hill 3 next. Why not, you know? We finished Silent Hill 2. Looks like we're going to be doing some Silent Hill month. Just like, oh, Jordan underneath. Silent Hill month. Here we go. Sound Hell 3, and then maybe, I guess we'll just keep going through the series and just see which ones we're going to do next. Uh, I'll worry about that when the time comes. Uh, on, like, what's next after 3, obviously. Uh, Sound Hell 3 will hopefully have... Apparently the gameplay is um, amazing. Uh, who knows? Who knew? Uh, so... see here so they actually played through Silent Hill 2 they just straight up like played through Silent Hill 2 I guess until they beat it huh and then they played through Silent Hill three only like one time so they did two playthroughs of silent hill two what it looks like interesting that's cool hmm. yeah Proud of you, Silent Hill. Team Silent. Okay. Have a good morning, good day, good afternoon, good night. I think I already said that, but whatever. Love you. Um, see you on Saturday, I guess. Uh, mwah. Uh, you.